Video 0304, Controlling Visibility. To control the visibility of objects, you use visibility graphics and turn categories and subcategories on or off. This doesn't just apply to the project environment. When creating the Revit family, we can choose when and where we want the objects to appear. To start that process, let's take a look at a Revit project. From your Chapter 3 folder, open the file Chapter 3 Architecture. As you can see from this example, we have a very basic file, four walls and two doors. We're currently displaying this view in course level of detail. I'm going to scroll in and let's examine the door. We have two lines that indicate the door swing. The walls also appear in a course level of detail. If I change my level of detail to medium, we immediately get more detail for our drawing. Let's see what happens though if we create a section. From your quick access toolbar, click on section and create a section that's looking in the direction of the door. From the project browser, expand the sections and open section one. Here, we can see that the door has a frame and an indicative line to show the side of the hinges. If we then go and create a default 3D view, you can see this in more detail. We have a door frame and we have a door panel, but those elements aren't visible back in the plan view, even at fine level of detail. To examine this further, we need to open the family. And in this instance, I'm going to use the double click method. I've now opened the family and from the project browser, open the floor plan, ground floor. In this view, we've got several things going on. The reference planes and the dimensions are hindering what I can actually look at. So from your view tab, click on visibility graphics and under annotation categories, turn off dimensions, reference lines, reference planes, and levels. We could have unticked the show annotation categories in this view. Click on OK. We can now see the host wall and the elements that make up this door. As you can see from here, some elements like the wall are shown in black, some in blue, and some are shown in grayscale. The wall is the host element, and for this exercise, I don't need to see it. So I select the wall and hide the elements temporarily in the view. This bottom line is the opening cut. It's the object that cuts the hole in the wall. I'm going to hide this as well. I don't need to see the flip arrows either. So I'm going to add those to my selection set and hide them. Finally, we have a set of objects that make up the actual door family. Here's the door panel. When I select it, notice that on the Modify tab, under Mode, I have a control for visibility settings. Here I can choose where I display this element. And currently we don't see the panel in a floor plan, or if it's cut in plan. But we can see it at detail levels that are coarse, medium and fine. Select Cancel. This visibility also applies to the door frame. Now let's deal with the plan swing. This is a symbolic line. This means that this line will only display in a plan view. Even though it's a symbolic line, we can still alter its visibility settings. And here we can see that this arc is visible at detail levels of coarse, medium and fine. Notice how this dialog box differs from the previous one for model elements. This is because symbolic elements are view direction specific. When I select one of the other symbolic lines, however, like that of the door panel, and click on visibility settings, we can see that this particular line is only visible at medium and fine levels of detail. So you can see from here, this is another area that needs careful consideration and planning. For consistency, we need all our doors or our taps or our light fixtures to be created in the same way consistently.